Hello, everybody. We are here with a new little idea that I came up with. So I'm going to be doing a single season rebuild with every single team in the NFL. Now, it does. Now, this this is how it's going to work. We are going to have. So, if we have a losing record on mid-season, I will hop in, and I will do offense only. If we make it to the playoffs, I will show you guys the playoffs on a part two episode. But yeah, so pretty much what we're going to do is a single season rebuild. If we have a losing record at, min at mid-season, I'm just going to play and hopefully make it into the playoffs. If we don't, we don't. It's whatever. Anyway, let's get started here. So, let's go into our roster. Oh dear, I'm scared. I don't want to see this at all. Here we go. Oh. God. Wow. I mean, I know they would be bad, and I, I did the team I was dreading the most first, but... Good God! No other defense. Oh, Lord. Okay, so... We need everything on this team. Well, no, not everything, but close enough. Like I want to clean out the 60 overalls, right? Like I like I want to clean out them, clean out them, right? Tracy Walker can stay. Trey Flowers can stay. I'm not worried about star dev people, you know. You, Okuda's fine, you know. No, I'm worried about, you know, like the 60s. So, you know, like the free safety. You know, the left end, then we come back. You know, I'm worried about the 60 overalls here. You know, like, Cam, I want out, you know. Golf at quarterback will have to do this year because I'm not going to get any good quarterback from any team because they're going to be so much to trade for. So I don't think I'm going to get them at all. You know what? I, I, think, I, I think I can make this work. So first things first, let's check free agency. I am very glad that I did. All right. We have a couple of players that I catch my eye. Like, for instance, Golden Tate. He kind of catches my eye. Um, Richard Sherman, of course, catches my eye. Uh, salary cap is off for this, by the way. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to snag Richard Sherman out of free agency here. Welcome to the team, good sir. And we are also going to grab John Brown. Out of, it's not even his thing. It's not even a college Pittsburgh State. I don't know. Let's go to his ratings. He will be a great speed person. John Brown, 91 overall. Not 91 overall. 91 speed. I wish 91 overall. 91 speed, 90 acceleration. He's a great catcher. He is a great catcher. He's a he will make a good slot receiver. He will make a great slot receiver. BC version is good. Change of direction is good. Juke move. John Brown's uh, John Brown's great. Now let's go down the Golden Tate. 
who he's a little bit older, and I think I don't even want him really. Yeah, 89 speed. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm sorry, but I, I'm good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's go jump, bro. So yeah, this is looking a little better. We got John Brown there, oh, Williams there, Cephas at slot. We got DeAndre Swift, Jared Goff. I'm not too happy about that. Uh, left guard can be upgraded a bit. Right guard can be upgraded. But all in all, the offense I'm kind of okay with right now. As I want to get a better right guard. And what's also good is that the Lions have a lot of first round picks from last year that they got. So that'll also be really well, really well, really good. And it'll work out great for me. Because I don't care about their future, right? I care about right now. So, um, I'm going to work on getting Justin Tucker. And Jake Fox is fine there, but I'm going to work on getting Justin Tucker. I feel like just Justin Tucker is going to be the first trade I make for. Because I am not going to deal with a 69 overall kicker all year. So, let's go to here. Trade center. Well, here you have it. A 2023 round five. For Justin Tucker, that's the first shade we made. Oh boy. All right. So the first thing I want to address is the offensive line. I believe it's right guard, right? Yeah, he's not starting at right guard. So we're going to address the right guard, and I'll let you know when we got a trade. So a round three and a six. Guess says David D. Castro. From the Buffalo Bills. And yeah. So that was a very easy trade. Got up to the yellow with the for the round six. Had to put in that round three for David DeCastro. Now we're on to the left end. Well, Hunter Bryant, Jamar Jefferson, and a round three pick gets us Jatavion Clowney from the Cleveland Browns. And that'll really help out our left end situation. All right, so um, Levi Awaiuzerki, uh, I think is how you say it. I don't know. Um, around four and around six picks for Eddie Goldman. That'll really help out on defensive tackle. Now I'm not gonna make this team like all nice stuff like that. No, I'm just want you know like decent players on the team to hopefully help us get into that playoff range, which. To be honest, isn't looking bright. And it says I need a, a a middle linebacker. I'm not that worried about middle linebacker because first of all, he's a 79, which is one of the better players on our team. And I think this mean age by age, really. Um, I'm not worried about age. You know, I'm only doing this for a season. You know, I'm not worried about age. So yeah, that's my case on that. So, a round six and a round two picks get us Cody Whitehair, the left guard, from the Chicago Bears. Now we're on to, I believe, free, yeah, free safety. Well, Angelo McNeil and a round two draft pick gets us Juan Thornhill from the Kansas City Chiefs. So I know I'm getting like 70s, you know, eight, low 80s, but here's the thing. It's just those little upgrades, it's going to boost our team a lot from where it was last time. So, that that's my case about me getting all these, you know, you know um, late 70s, early not 80s overall players. Okuda, round one for Kellen Moore out of the Colts. Cephas and a first round pick for Will Fuller V from the Miami Dolphins. Now, let's go to our roster, reevaluate what we have, and let's see who who we want and what we need. So let's go back to here. I'm really excited to see this team, how much we progressed it. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at this. This is amazing to see. Look at this. Now let's go to the defensive side of the ball. Look at this. Look at 
This is amazing. So, so you need two middle linebackers. I kind of agree with the coach now that we may want to get a middle linebacker and a strong safety for our um our last two picks. I just all the start of the elements we have, and we have a rookie in Panay Soul. I'm really liking this team of how it's, of how it's looking so far. This is a huge upgrade from last time. And this is huge. Alright, well, I decided that middle linebacker and strong safety for our last first round picks. Then we are done and we will sim to the midseason mark. And... And if we don't make it, I will play offense only, and I will only show the touchdowns from the games. Just like that. We got Jordan, we got Jordan Poirier. Poirier, Poirier, whatever. I think it's Poirier, right? I, I don't I hear it both ways. I hear it Poirier, Poirier. I never know anymore. Anyway, um, first round pick for Jordan Poirier out of Buffalo. And the final move we are making before the season starts. First round pick for Deion Jones. We're, we're going we're gonna to take one let's look at this team and we're going to see how we are to start off the season. Alright, so here's the offensive, here's the offensive side of the ball. Very nice. Here's the defensive side of the ball now. This team looks very good. I am very happy with how this team looks. So now we can send to the midseason mark and see how we do. I hope we do well. Well, three and four equals 0 and seven. So it looks like I'm going to be playing. Office of 31 3 to the Rams. Wow. Alright, and so from here on out, I will only show you the touchdowns from the games that I play. So, I'll see you guys at the end of the regular season.
So this is the update. Surprisingly, at at the record of nine and eight, we have made it to the wild card. Now, what I'm going to do for the playoffs is I'm going to do another montage thing, and just I'm just show you the playoffs, the playoffs, the highlights from the wild card, and I will see you after the wild card. I mean, what did you want me to do? Please answer me. I'm playing with the 80 overall team. Oh, great. Thanks. Yeah, thanks for that. Good God. Let's see here. Manage roster. Adjust lineup. Jared Goff. Man, Jared Goofball is, is his actual name, actually. I'm going to call him Jared Goofball. How do you even... I, I should have put in um, Montez. Have Swift, who actually did pretty well this season. Panay Sewell, gonna be a gr he's going to be great. Hawkinson, he's great. John Brown. I mean, I really turned this team around. I brought them to a wild card. But I just I don't know. We lost to the Rams. Not surprised at all. Here's our team. Here's our ending team. And I don't know. It just the Lions suck. And the Lions are gonna suck for the next decade or so until they can rebuild their team and get them into a good shape. Cause I don't know. I you know what? I was to end the video here. This team was a disgrace and it still is a, and it still is a disgrace even after I rebuilt it. This franchise is a joke. Good God.